Hi, we're back. Good morning. Morning. Morning, sis. Hi. Hope you uh, had breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> Waffles and hot chocolate. <laughs> With a dash of what? With whiskey in it, right? <laughs> <laughs> I've had my sugar infusion. I'm ready to go. Okay, lesson 92. Miracles are seen in light and light and strength are one. Miracles are seen in light. Yes, here we go. Okay. The idea for today is an extension of the previous one, right? Which was miracles are seen in light. You do not think of light in terms of strength and darkness in terms of weakness. That is because your idea of what seeing means is tied up with the body and its eyes and brain. This is why you believe that you can change what you see by keeping little bits of glass or other clear material before your eyes held in a frame or placed against the eyeball. <laughs> Excuse me. Oh, I don't have what you've got in my version. I've got Ken's version. I mean, not Ken, uh, the FIP version right here. So that's kind of been, could, could you read that sentence again? I, yeah. It sounds I, really interesting. I love this. Go on. I tore off my glasses because I felt guilty. It says, this is why you believe that you can change what you see by keeping little bits of glass or other clear material before your eyes held in a frame or placed against the eyeball. These are among the many magical beliefs that come from the conviction that you are a body and the body's eyes can see. Mm, yeah, okay. All right, so by wearing glasses or contact lenses, I didn't think they had contact lenses when the course was dictated, um, but maybe they did, right? Well, you Jesus know, does everything. Yeah, he does, okay, all right. Um, anyway, so, so while I believe that that these glasses mm -hmm. are going to show me, are going to reveal to me <clears throat> the light or, or show me what's real, mm. then I am, what am I? Damned oh. to hell. <laughs> oh, gone, right? <laughs> my glasses are my salvation. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Good. Uh, All right. Well, I think this is a great place just to remind ourselves from the other previous lesson that we made the body as the concrete wall as and the five physical senses. So we don't actually see the light. This is all part of the ego curtain that we drew across the light so we would actually be in darkness. Well, I, I, I have to agree with you. <laughs> in my own experience, the body has been my greatest distraction in life. Mm -hmm. Trusting its five physical senses to report to me what I think reality is, yes. is the block to the light, right? Yes, it is, yeah. Mm. Yep, <clears throat> okay. You also believe the body's brain can think. No, no. no. Are you kidding me? Not me. Wait, wait a minute, hang on, now you're going too far. Isn't the brain everything? Uh, oh, 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 I could be very naughty here and bring in another. No, yeah. brain. okay. Um, but the brain's everything, isn't it? Uh, I guess I, you know, with my background, it's even tough for me to accept that. I think that the brain is shooting what impulses under the skull in this gray matter is really the source of anything at all. But most people do believe that because that's the way the world's educated. Uh, uh, okay, so so the brain's thinking mm -hmm. is getting its thoughts from a dark thought system. Is that correct? <laughs> yes. So yeah. that would mean that that this dark thought system, called the ego thought system, which is entirely impersonal, and it's a closed circuit, yes. right, of darkness. Mm -hmm. Just think of a, a black ball right. of darkness, right? right. So we, we so the brain is plugged in to that darkness. Yeah. <laughs> <Sorry>. <laughs> All right, I'm just let me just step this 
through, right? Okay. Uh-huh. All right. So, and it's a closed circuit. <laughs> and this brain has plugged in all the other, all the five yeah. physical senses. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Those that are, they're all plugged into this same closed circuit of darkness. Yes. Okay. So next thing that's come into my mind is so I can't have an original thought. Oh. No. So now does everyone else have the same <laughs> closed circuit? <laughs> oh, gee. Oh, oh, that's a, that's oh. An analogy, sis. Okay. All right. I will, um, I'll stop. It's just very funny. It is very funny. Okay. So the brain can't think. No. Well, he's saying you also believe that the body's brain can think, and that's the way we've been educated. He says, if you but understood the true nature of thought, you could but laugh at this insane idea as we are now. It is as if you thought you held the match that lights the sun and, <laughs> and give it all its warmth. That's so funny. Uh-huh. Oh, he's got such a sense of humor. I think that's okay. a good analogy. Or that you had the universe imprisoned in your hand, securely bound until you let it go. The universe. It says yeah. world here. That's a bit, bit of a stretch. <laughs> it says in the FIP version, that you held the world within your hand. Well, that's just one planet out of billions. Right? Let's go with oh, the universe. I like universe. I like universe too. It's more accurate. Yet this is no more foolish than to believe the body's eyes can see, the brain can think. Wow. So how insignificant, how ridiculous is it to think that this body actually houses us or can do anything? It is God's strength in you that is the light in which you see, as it is his mind with which you think. His strength denies your weakness. It is your weakness that sees through the body's eyes peering about in darkness to behold the likeness of itself, the small, the weak, the sickly and the dying, those in need, the helpful and afraid, the sad, the poor, the starving, and the joyless. These are seen through eyes that cannot see and cannot bless. Why? Because there's no truth, because we're still looking in the dark and we're seeing what has never been created by God. So we're seeing what the darkness made, which is total illusion. Totally, yes, total, total illusion. I keep, I just keep coming back to this visual of this black void, peering into this void, trying to make sense of seeing movement in there and deciding what it is and what it's for and, and thinking that it's real and using a body to interact and see it and none of it's true. Okay, strength overlooks these things by seeing past appearances. Here we go. Strength is what is required it strength overlooks these things by seeing past false appearances it keeps its steady gaze upon the light that lies beyond them it unites with light the strength it it unites with light of which it is a part it sees itself oh chills okay me too i got it too you too see one mind sis just one mind. Just one mind. Communication it, is happening. So the strength in us, right, looks beyond false appearances to unite with itself, the truth, the light behind the false appearances. And that's in us. That strength's already part of what we are. So it, the strength in us, sees itself in the light. It brings the light in which yourself, capital S, appears. It brings the light in which yourself appears. In darkness, you perceive a self that is not there. So you can't know yourself in the absence of the light, but the strength brings the light so that you can recognize your true identity. 
Strength is the truth about you. Weakness is an idol falsely worshiped and adored that strength may be dispelled and darkness rule where God appointed that there should be light. Strength comes from truth and shines with light its source has given it. Weakness reflects the darkness of its maker. It is sick and looks on sickness, which is like itself. Did you want to say anything about that? Um, all I want to say is for me, the most important part of this or, or the first step that allows the light to shine through is the willingness and <clears throat> the discipline or vigilance to look past appearances of darkness. Mm -hmm. Okay. To be, a, you know, because if we're not going to look past the appearances of darkness, we're still going to believe they're real. Mm -hmm. Right. And then we're not going to open up to really see the light and join with that light beyond the appearance of darkness. Right. Did you want to? Yeah. And, and, and just the entire ego thought system where it's a wish to be, you know, mythical me, that necessarily means that we have to be weak. We're denying the strength that joins with the light because we didn't want the light. We wanted the darkness and darkness is weakness. So, you know, what we are is infinite um, unlimited, powerful beings, spiritual beings, we're now reduced to um, a mortal, limited, finite thought, you know, this, this belief, not even a thought, a belief of ourselves, and we're lim we can do no, no more than what this body allows us to do. And it's going to decay, and it's going to become sick, and it's going to fatigue, and it's going to die. I mean, just the contrast between a feeling state of the strength and the light of the world that we are in contrast to mythical me and its mor mortality and limitation. Well, that's the whole belief in, in the weakness that we have to with uphold. I'm weak, I'm vulnerable, I'm limited, I'm alone. I'm alone, that's, thank you sis, I'm alone. I, something just came through then. Is yeah. we all believe we are alone. That's it. You know, we all believe we have private brains. Yes. That contain private thoughts. Mm -hmm. And that the only way that we can truly communicate with someone else is through the body. So what happens if the body's destroyed? Right. What happens nope. if the loved one has passed on? <clears throat> can we still communicate? Right? We cannot, right. And so that's the limitation of the body. Yeah. When we really believe the body limits us, mm -hmm. uh, then we're seeing in darkness. And what I'm learning right now is that communication remains unbroken, right. no matter what, mm -hmm. as long as I stay in the light. So I am able to communicate just by joining in the light with another person. They may not be conscious of that communication at the time, but most of the time I get um, reassurance that's, that a miracle's occurred because of that communication. You too. Yes. You've done it many times with me. I mean, <laughs> you won't go into details, but you and I have actually been living 50 miles apart. Mm -hmm. And on the same night, at the same time, we dreamed the same dream. It's true. You know? That's true. So, yeah. Yes, okay. thanks for this. Seeing in the light. So the light, and because that is our strength, that our unlimited um, power and ability is found, right? But while we want to be mythical me, we're gonna cope collude with the belief that we're weak and vulnerable and that communication has to be body to body or joining has to be body to body. Okay. Yeah, uh, <clears throat> truth is a savior and can only will for happiness and peace for everyone. 
It gives its strength to everyone who asks in limitless supply. It sees that lack in anyone would be a lack in all. And so it gives its light that all may see and benefit as one. Its strength is shared that it may bring to all the miracle in which they will unite in purpose and forgiveness and in love. Oh, Weakness, which looks in darkness, cannot see a purpose in forgiveness and in love. It sees all others different from itself and nothing in the world which it would share. It judges and condemns, but does not love. In darkness, it, weakness, remains to hide itself and dreams that it is strong and conquering, a victor over limitations which but grow in darkness to enormous size. It fears and it attacks and hates itself and darkness covers everything it sees, leaving its dreams as fearful as itself. No miracles are here, but only hate. It separates itself from what it sees, while light and strength perceive themselves as one. The light of strength is not the light you see with the body's eyes. It does not change and flicker and go out. It does not shift from night to day and back to darkness till the morning comes again. The light of strength is constant, sure as love, forever glad to give itself away because it cannot give but to itself. No one can ask in vain to share its sight and none who enters its abode can leave without a miracle before his eyes and strength and joy abiding in his heart. The strength in you will offer you the light and guide your seeing so you do not dwell on idle shadows which the body's eyes provide for self-deception. Strength and light unite in you and where they meet, yourself stands ready to embrace you as its own. Such is the meeting place we try today to find and rest in for the peace of God is where yourself, his son, is waiting now to meet itself again and be as one. Let us give 20 minutes twice today to join this meeting. Let yourself be brought unto yourself. Its strength will be the light in which the gift of sight is given you. Leave then the dark a little while today, and we will practice seeing in the light, closing the body's eyes and asking truth to show us how to find the meeting place of self and self, where light and strength are one. After the morning meeting, we will use the day in preparation for the time at night when we will meet again in hope and trust let us repeat as often as we can the idea for today and recognize that we are being introduced to sight and led away from darkness to the light where only miracles can be perceived. Beautiful. So miracles are seen in light and light and strength are one. recognizing the strength that's already within us, using that strength to overlook appearances to join with the light behind it, which is our holy self. The gap between what we think we are and what we truly are is closed. In that light, we see that there's that shift in perception or the miracle. Yep. Love it. You know, I'm very aware um, at the experience level mm -hmm. right now that as we're reading these lessons, 
there's definitely a divine transmission, which is a bolt of light mm -hmm. <laughs> that is piercing the darkness of every mind and heart that opens itself to receiving this with us. So thank you. And thank you, sis, for yeah. joining us as well and doing this together with me, you know? No, thank you, sis. Um, I just wanted to bring up, you know, in the last lesson as you were reading that question that came, kept coming up, the question of, you know, what am I? And he was encouraging us to sit with that. Well, I got an answer to it, but I didn't bring it up because my guidance was to give the listener an opportunity to ask that question and receive their own response. Um, but I, I, I want to share it today that when I asked the question, or I heard you read the question, what am I? Um, the answer came in very clear to my awareness that I am or we are the light in which God sees. Mm -hmm. And I could really, I felt that. And I kind of went quiet for the second half of what you were reading in lesson 91, as that really just kind of dropped in to recognize that we are the means for which God knows itself. You know, when we say we are the light of the world, um, you know, we are God's extension and the ego is just this thought that we could fall asleep, which would prevent God from knowing itself through its ideas or through its creation. And that's the arrogance of the ego. But what we are in truth, you know, is, is the light in which God sees or knows, I guess would be even a better way. But I, the way it came in was, I am the light in which God sees. Mm -hmm. sees itself sees its creation appreciates loves extends we are the means for god so we're the means by which god extends his love and that god knows itself mm -hmm. he can only know himself by ex extending what he is yes and that's how we get to know ourselves, right? Right. Same, by extending what we are. Yes. Right. And yes. here in the dream, that function is forgiveness. Mm -hmm. mm. Right. Thank you, sis. Yeah, accepting the atonement is accepting, is letting go of this arrogance and, and wake, it's awakening and letting ourselves be the light in which God sees. I don't know, it's a more feeling thing than a word thing, but it came in and I've just it's beautiful. have a new recognition of what we are. What a beautiful here. meditation. Yeah. To, just to sit with that, sit still go inward and allow him to speak and reveal to us right. the nature of that light. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you all. Thank you. Another Bye. big one. So good. See you next time. <laughs>